Hello, Grigory. Hi, Philip. Couldn't you represent yourself and your company? Uh, myself. Uh, I am the founder of uh, Armingo.com, first Armenian internet ser service provider. We have started in 1992, mm, established first TCP IP connection and uh, established first uh, Armenian mm, website, 3warming.com. Wow. <laughs> our company, our company uh, was uh, mm, established in 2007 when we decided to separate our uh, directions. Internet service providing it was one of the direction, uh, website uh, development and uh, domain registration. Uh, another direction so uh, now uh, and now our main focus is on uh, domain registration and the uh, and the uh, website hosting providing well, couldn't you represent armenia market in numbers how many people live there how many domains uh? our population is uh, 3 million mm, but we have large diaspora up to 10 million armenians are now no, uh, not residents in armenia they are in uh, Russia, United States, Europe, uh, Middle East, so we have a large Armenian community. Uh, about uh, domain registrations, today we have something like 3,500,000 uh, um, domains registered in .am zone, but also we have a uh, lot of uh, customers who are not in AM zone, but also uh, they are using COM, ORGnet, or this new GPLDs. Uh, about hosting, I can no, I don't have uh, enough information figures. I can say about our hosting users. We have something like 3,000, 3,500 uh, users for shared hosting. Um, uh, some of them are using uh, no, not a large quantity of dedicated services uh, servers. Uh, a few. F locations <coughs> so the main main interest is for shared hosting as you know many am domains are outside Armenia is it a lot of Chinese buy these domains yes uh, not a lot of Chinese it was started uh, five years ago when uh, one of our resellers have decided uh, have invented invented this market Chinese market mm -hmm. that they are uh, the, the point is that uh, figures have meaning in uh, Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. So, for example, four is dead, uh, eight is love. So, oh, okay. and this combination of these figures uh, has unique meaning for Chinese. Oh, okay. This is the reason why they have decided to uh, register uh, this uh, fi uh, no domain with figures. But after this new ICANN initiative, when mm -hmm. ICANN uh, uh, decided to uh, give rights to operate with <coughs> these new GTLDs. Mm -hmm. uh, today we have something like 1,500 new GTLD and uh, in a lot of uh, zones figures are mm, empty. So it's possible okay. to register there. And the interest today for Armenian.am from Chinese side is not so, such large as it was five years ago. Uh, okay. And uh, what about Armenian market? Is it growing, like internet population and uh, domain? Internet is growing, and uh, uh, but we cannot say that domain registrations, quantity of domain registration is increasing uh, dramatically. We have slow uh, increase of uh, domain registrations. Um, it's something like 1,000 or 2,000 domain names uh, during one year. Uh, I mean, stable registration from uh, residents. I think it's a little bit a, a government problem. As for example, as I go everywhere, I'm unable to pay with a card. In many places, I'm unable to pay with a card. It means that internet is not for everybody. Internet is for Facebook, internet is for Google, but not still for local use. Like, maybe uh, it's the reason why people do not use no, a lot of... No, 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 no. no. We uh, have... Uh, by the way, interesting uh, picture that one of our mm, servers, classified servers, uh, they uh, they are on the fourth position. Uh, we have uh, mm, least AM server. Mm -hmm. It's very popular, like uh, one of the Russian um, 
the social network. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 million, uh, uh, 10, 10 million visits okay. per month, um, or per day maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but uh, okay, it's, it's very quite popular. Big, yeah. yeah, quite big. Yeah. And uh, typically on uh, on your servers, how many domains uh, people buy? For example, one person. How many domains it has? Uh, domain? We have, of course, quarters, uh, but today is not they are not very active. But uh, let us say one domain per user, or maybe up to ten per user. Okay. Average, it's typically one Armenian person buy one domain for his business. Company, yes, company. Uh, main, mainly companies, of course. It's okay. Of course, uh, of course, we have individuals also. And uh, what about support languages? People typically write in, uh, in Armenian and Russian or also in English or...? Oh, oh mm, I can say that we have a problem with that. Sometimes we are using uh, Latin script for Armenian words, mm -hmm. translate. Yes. Uh, it's not, not uh, but mainly Armenian, of course. I mainly Armenian. Yeah. But it's uh, necessary to have also Russian and English, or it's... Uh... We have on our side Russian and English support. Uh, new generation, as I understand, they are using both English and Russian uh, language. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, in any case, it's, it's necessary to have three, three languages. And do people prefer uh, quality or price? Uh, I, think, I think price is very important very important. We have users who are paying two dollars per month each mm -hmm. month. It's very strange, but we have uh, a group of users. But on the other hand, uh, yes, quality is very important. Local support on local language is very important. And uh, what about the uh, average pricing for shared hosting? It's about three, four euros, something like that. Something like that. We have uh, various plans. Uh, cheapest is uh, 1.5 euro cheapest but it's enough for a uh, small business I think. Oh, the prices is uh, similar to euro prices yes because it's competition not only inside Armenia but competition with the uh, uh, whole world and uh, as I know many, sh many shared hosting companies uh, uh, have servers outside Armenia in Russia in Berlin or we had our servers up to uh, let us say uh, 2014 and then we understand that it's cheaper and easier to manage if servers are in uh, abroad. Uh, we have now servers in Germany. Okay. Uh, I think in Russia it's dangerous to keep them. Yeah, yeah, so they have lot of regulations. No, not lot of regulations. Content filtering, blocking, yes. Personal data. Personal data. That must be so better to keep it in Europe. It's not far. And uh, do you feel uh, website builder popularity is growing or still people do not know what is it? It depends on uh, our policy. We have to give more information, more uh, more advertisement for uh, SitePro. I think it's a very good idea to use SitePro because <coughs> the main problem is that company had created, let us say, a few years ago its site and now they don't know where is their developer. And uh, they, are, they don't know how to adapt their s website to uh, PHP new versions. Yeah. It's, it's a serious problem. But if you have builder, it's, it's easy to have, uh, to have to do any change. Not necessary to have a developer for that. Uh, as you started a company, uh, a short hosting company, one of the first in Armenia, yeah. and then you sold it. Then you as understood uh, start as a company, no? No, no, no. We were inter internet service provider. Arminko.com uh, is also currently is working, but mm -hmm. we are separated the business, and now we are uh, concentrated on uh, domain names and uh, hosting. Okay. Well, couldn't you share some know-how in your company? Only one know-how. I don't know. It's no, it's not know-how of our company. Yeah. Uh, you know that each FM radio station uh, mm -hmm. registered domain in. FM zone. Okay. But also, you know that there are AM radio stations. Okay. And according to our, according to our, this ideology, our, our friends in uh, uh, .fm, uh, they suggested .am together with .fm. So each radio station 
try to have both uh, FM and AM domain. Oh, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also, 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 uh, our one of our very expensive customers is Instagram. Instagram.am. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, yeah. I think it's good we're selling for IM, for example. I don't know. Philip, I am. Philip dot I am. I am was Grigorgi sold in uh, was sold in 1996. I think it could be a good project <laughs> worldwide. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, there is you can find it. Uh, I am slash and then your name. Yeah. Okay, maybe I do not know it, but. Mm. Mm. And uh, couldn't you share your biggest fail if you have one? As big company, Our typically. Biggest, uh, oh, have biggest big fail! Biggest fail! We don't pay attention on mm, mm, a market situation during uh, last our years because we were internet service provider it was uh, not our main business so it was as a additional value added service for uh, mm -hmm. our isp mm -hmm. but today because we are not isp we have to pay attention on advertisement on uh, marketing and so all other things uh, maybe you can share your best marketing campaign or maybe best like marketing uh <coughs> step that you didn't maybe it could be five years ago or our best marketing step is will be done i think uh, uh, we think that our citizens our population now is con not concentrated on dot mm -hmm. they need also this one of these 1500 <coughs> new gtlds mm -hmm. and for that we have to establish appropriate protocol to have a facility for contacting with all uh, with, with with large resellers mm -hmm. I think this is important today N necessary to be open for registrate registrators from uh, other zones and also to to provide yeah. to provide their zones for Armenian citizens ah, okay. And as I see, a lot of uh, international uh, brands do not provide AM at all. Yes, because there is no EPP, and now we are starting, I think, during this month, we will start this company. And the AM is, uh, the main is very expensive, as I, as I see. Uh, if the, uh, somebody will, one, one will uh, apply directly to our site, mm -hmm. the W Internet AM, he will see that the price is not very expensive. Uh, the price is very expensive expensive on our resellers sites okay. something like 50 dollars uh, yeah. 60 dollars yeah. uh, but on our site is 20 dollars okay something like that 20 dollars and ADN domain How much ADN ADN is uh, one or two dollars okay sometimes sometimes it's uh, as a promotional domain was mm, provided for free Okay. sometimes i think we have uh, we shall see new challenges for competitors uh, as we understand that our competitors not only local companies but mainly international companies and it's very hard to uh, <coughs> give any advertisement because if you want to use google <coughs> domain registration is occupied by these giants godaddy and others so uh, necessary to find a way how to uh, how to find your market share with most effect in most effective way? I just think that uh, Armenia maybe needs some additional law regulations like Belarus or like Ukraine. No, 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 no. Our main uh, as uh, I am a <coughs> at the uh, now I am the secretary of Internet Governance Council, mm -hmm. <coughs> which is a multi-stakeholder organization, and we are battling for internet freedom. I can say that our last success was um, we have stopped the law for blocking uh, gambling sites uh, okay so there was not maybe about uh, about the domains but about more about infrastructure for example belarus they have a rule as example that if you have or, or kazakhstan as well or russian similar mm -hmm. a little bit uh, that if your website is you must uh, host in your country. You must host in no, your no, country. No, 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 no. Uh, on video. our uh, IGF, it was uh, uh, discussed a few days ago. It was discussed where we can store data, and uh, 
once more our law enforcement agencies confirm that they don't have any requirements to keep websites inside Armenia it's not only about uh, private, uh, private companies sometimes it's possible to implement for uh, governmental organizations for example office 365 yeah. is it possible to use yeah. they are using it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I think it's for such small country is not <coughs> essential to keep data inside the country oh, what about uh, that every business should, pro should have uh, internet presence or something like that we don't have such requirements it's up to them uh, not necessary to have business must do it himself without okay. any pressure from the yeah, government maybe, possibly. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's Business not a, require freedom. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Philip.